welcome back to Pen Message Channel. In this video, we will demonstrate how to complete the power connection of three Pelusan Smart LV12K solar energy storage inverters and further expand the system to include four inverters. The demonstration mainly focuses on the interrelated wiring connections between the inverters, including battery lights, AC lights, communication lights, and current sharing lights. Let's get started. First, connect the batteries to the bus bar of the battery lights. The positive terminal of the battery connects to the positive bus bar, and the negative terminal connects to the negative bus bar. We are using Tupo LIO 48260S full mounted lithium ion phosphate batteries, which together provide a total capacity of 400 amp hour, a system voltage of 51.2 volt and a maximum charge and discharge current of 150 amperes. The bus parts are crucial in power assistance. By ensuring that cable links between the inverters and the bus parts are consistent, we can ensure uniformity in the wire lengths from the batteries to each inverter. Consistent voltage drops and uniform voltage detection. Next, connect the positive and negative terminals of each inverter's battery port to the corresponding positive and negative bus bars. Then use communication cables to connect the RS45B1 and RS45B2 ports of both batteries. Setting the DIP switches to on, off, off, off and off, on, off, off respectively. Each will enable the battery power connection. After starting both batteries, close the battery breaker of the first inverter and long press the power switch on the side of the inverter for more than 5 seconds to start it. After the 20 second boot come down, if there is no inverter output showing, long press the power switch again until the inverter output indicator appears. Then long press enter icon to enter the settings menu and select setting item 32 to choose PAL mode. After the settings are complete, open the building battery breaker of the inverter to power it down. Repeat the same process for the remaining inverters. Ensure that each inverter is powered on and set individually and the others must be powered off when setting one inverter. Once all inverters are set, connect the AC input and output to each inverter while the batteries are powered off. The AC wiring between the inverters can be done as shown in the diagram.
Use the power communication cables and current sharing lines from the packaging to connect the adjacent inverters. Connect communication port 1 of one inverter to communication port 2 of the next inverter and the current sharing port 1 of one inverter to current sharing port 2 of the next inverter. The wiring sequence between current sharing ports must be remained consistent. For example, the wiring sequence for the first inverter's current sharing port 2 is blue, brown, black, gray, and the same sequence must be followed for the second inverter's current sharing port 1. Once all the wiring is complete, start the batteries and then power up each inverter in sequence. The first inverter to start will automatically be set as the master. Then close the building AC input breaker for each inverter. Since there is no simulated DC power from multiple photovoltaic inputs, we have no connected photovoltaic system here. Each inverter in the power system should be connected to a separate photovoltaic array. Do not connect the same photovoltaic array to multiple inverters or to both photovoltaic input ports of the same inverter. If photovoltaic rays are connected, after closing the AC input lights, close all photovoltaic rays circuits. And finally, close the breaker for the AC output load line. Your power assistant should now be operational. Next, we will demonstrate how to expand the system by adding new inverters to an existing power setup. First, connect the positive and negative terminals of the battery ports of the new inverter to the battery bus bar. Start the batteries, close the battery circuit breaker, and power up the inverter. Changing setting item 32 to PAL mode. Then open the battery circuit breaker to power off the battery. Turn off the battery power and complete the wiring for the new inverter. Connect the AC input of the new inverter to the AC input of the adjacent inverter. Connect the AC output of the new inverter to the AC output of the adjacent inverter. And connect the set of AC output cables from AC output port of new inverter to the main control panel. Then connect communication port 2 and current sharing port 2 of the adjacent inverter to the new inverter's communication port 1 and current sharing port 1. After completing the wiring, follow the previous steps to start the batteries, power up each inverter, close the AC input breakers, close all photovoltaic array breakers, and close the AC output breakers. Finally, close the main AC output breaker to bring the system into operation. That concludes the entire process of power setup for energy storage inverters. We hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.